Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Precalculus series. In today's video, I'm going to be going over exponent rules. And this is, of course, essential for anyone taking precalculus right now, but it also will make a great review for anyone in higher level mathematics. So first, let's start off by defining what an exponent does. So if we have our x taken to the second power, what this really means is that we're multiplying x by itself so that we have two iterations of x being multiplied together. If we had x cubed, it would be x times x times x for three iterations. So if we took x to the nth power, it would be x times x times x for n iterations of x. And so what if we took an exponent and raised it to another exponent? Let's say we have our quantity x cubed and raised the whole thing to the power of 2. Well, let's break it up to see how this works. So we know that x cubed, we define it over here, is equal to x times x times x. And if we had another quantity, let's say y, if we have y squared, it would be equal to y times y. So in order to find x cubed to the power of 2, let's substitute in x cubed for y. So we'll take our y squared, but every time we have a y, we'll use x cubed. So that means that x cubed to the power of 2 is going to equal x cubed times x cubed, which simplifies to x times x times x for our first x cubed times x times x times x. Sorry, that got a little squished over there. All right, so we have six iterations of x being multiplied together. And so we can simplify this to x to the power of 6. And so from here, we can create kind of a basic rule. This is one of our laws of exponents that when we have an exponent raised to another exponent, what you're doing is multiplying those two exponents together. x cubed times 2. So that would equal x to the power of 6. And what would happen if you multiplied two different quantities with exponents together? Let's look at that over here. So let's take Let's work with x cubed and x squared again. So we'll say we have x cubed, and we want to multiply it with x squared. So the easiest way to do this is to just look at each of the quantities individually. We know that x cubed is going to be equal to x times x times x. And then we'll multiply that with x squared, which we know is x times x. And so this creates another really simple rule for us. Every time we have two quantities with the same base multiplied together, you simply add their exponents. So 3 plus 2 will be x to the fifth, which is five iterations of x, just like above. All right, so that was our first precalculus exponentiation video. Be sure to click on our logo in this bottom corner here to visit our website to explore even more math resources, including our pre-cal textbook, which is available for just $10. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more math videos.